Today, we're gonna make this wonderful lemon dessert. Fast, easy, simple, quick, you're gonna love it. We're gonna start with a small box of lemon pudding, and that's the instant, not the one you heat on the stove, so instant. And I'm also adding my own lemon that I had squeezed, and I'm just gonna give it a little bit stronger taste that I like more lemon, so that's about a tablespoon right there. And let's do one more. Oh, look at that, how it changed that color. Isn't that beautiful? We just need a little bit of freshness in there. And then I'm gonna add a cup of whole milk. And you can use what you have on hand, but I like the whole milk because it really does make the pudding a little bit thicker and more luscious, so to speak. Look at that. And I'm just going to show you really quick while I'm doing that, the lemon that I used, this is the other half, I used half of that, which is about two tablespoons. We're going to mix that all together, and it smells amazing. The fresh lemon gives it that little tartness I think it needs. And so I just added that today. You don't have to, but I think it's a good tip. And we're gonna get that all mixed up. I'm gonna turn it up just a bit. Get that going. Ooh, look at that already. The color is beautiful. It smells so good too. Oh, it's amazing. And I'm gonna add one package of the cream cheese. And I'm gonna do that and look at this. It's gonna be so delicious. Again, fast, easy, simple. Your guests are gonna love it, your family. And I love lemon. And it just kind of reminds me of summer. It's so festive. And we're gonna start that on low. And we're gonna cream that all in. Start on low or you're gonna end up with it all over your blouse, your shirt, whatever. Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna clean that up. Get that nice and creamy. And look at that deliciousness and again it doesn't have to be perfect you get that cream cheese incorporated because we're going to keep blending because the next thing we're going to add is our cool whip and i've got about two cups left from a tub that i had that i was cooking with and look at that <laughs> and this is as much as you want, and I always go a little extra on the cool up anyway. It's about an overflowing two cups, let's say. Yeah, we don't mind generous don't heapings mind of cool whip. A little generous portion on that. Okay, I'm not going to use the blender right now. I think I'm just going to go in and stir this and fold this like I always do. I keep some of that fullness of the whipped cream. This would be delicious with a real whipped cream if you have it. And you want to take the time, but again, this is a fast, easy, no bake, and that's what we're going for. But if you want to make your own whipped cream, you certainly can. And look at that. Get all that off the bottom. And we're just going to fold and mix, fold and mix, and it's not going to get all flat. You're going to keep some of that air by doing this. At least that's what my grandmother and mother taught me. So we're going to just go with what I know. And look at that. Isn't that delicious? Keep going because look, at it's still at the bottom. Even though you think you got it all off the bottom, you really don't. So we're just going to keep stirring, mixing. So here we have incorporated all our ingredients. So easy, comes together very quickly. And I still see a little on the bottom there. I'm going to do one more fold, and then I'm going to put in a little graham cracker, pre-made pie shell. It really makes life easier. And we're just going to get that in, scoop it in. Look at that. It's so pretty. Again, these are fast, easy, no bake. And this one we're going to get all this out. I think I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put it in the freezer today. It's a little warm outside, and I think it calls for a frozen, lush raspberry lemon pie. We're gonna add raspberry. That's my surprise. 
and I love lemon and raspberry. I'm gonna get all that goodness off of there. I'm just gonna keep going like that, look at that. And with the lemon that I had squeezed earlier, I'm gonna decorate the top with that. But first of all, I washed raspberries just at your grocery store. I'm gonna take these and just, we're gonna just put them around the edge. I'm just gonna make this cute summer pie. Isn't that cute? It just screams summer. So refreshing. Oh yeah, this is so fun. And I know, I'm just gonna decorate with the lemon. Let people know what's inside when you're making things. And I like to decorate the top like I always do with our little lemons, little tiny slices I had left over. Let's just put that there. Again, use your imagination. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? And I'm gonna just, since we have a raspberry left, let's just stick them around the edge. Yeah, you might as well. Otherwise, we're gonna just eat them, which that's okay too. It's a raspberry, we can eat those. <laughs> Okay, how cute is this? We're just gonna, some are going down, some are going up. Just have fun with it. Look at that. And I might stick one in the middle. There we go. Pull that up a little bit. And I'm going to put this in the freezer. I'm gonna put that in for a couple hours. I want that real settled and fresh when we cut into it. And here is our final, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. For our luscious lemon raspberry, decided to add raspberries at the end. Look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little slice here. I'm gonna turn that over my little knife. This is my little cake knife I've had for years. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to have a bite of that. And then you're going to get a little of that graham cracker in there. Let's taste. Oh. Yeah. If you love lemon and raspberry, you'll love this. 